In this video, we will show you how to pour a skim coat over any concrete surface so that you can repair that damaged looking concrete and make it nice. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get a wheelbarrow, some mortar mix, and some water. And it would be a good idea to get a bag of plain Portland cement so you can add that in to increase the strength of your skim coat since that will only be a quarter of an inch thick. So what you're gonna do is pour the bags of mortar mix into a wheelbarrow. We recommend doing two bags at a time and then you mix it up and then you can add a third bag and add more water and add a fourth bag and add more water. That way it will not get too hard to mix in the wheelbarrow. Then you'll simply take an ordinary garden hoe and just kind of hold the concrete back and forth, adding water as you please. You want the skim coat to be about the consistency of um, like pudding or runny peanut butter. Not quite as thick as peanut butter because then it would be too hard for you to pour out and level. Once you have mixed up your concrete in the wheelbarrow, uh, appropriate bags for the size of the wheelbarrow, you will go ahead and add one shovelful of Portland cement to each bag of mortar mix that you added. So we have three bags in this wheelbarrow and we put three shovelfuls into the wheelbarrow of Portland cement. Then we're going to add some water. enough again per consistency be careful when adding the water because a little bit goes a very very long way once you've done that you will give it a final mix make sure that there aren't any white dry clumps anywhere so you want to chop it up and really mix it well again so it's a little bit more runny consistency than normal concrete because you are doing a skin coat you want it to be a little bit more runny Okay, so the Portland has been all mixed in. You can kind of see the consistency here. It's a very loose mix, and we are ready to take this and pour it in our slab. Okay, so here it is. We're gonna pour it all. Just dump the whole wheelbarrow out in your area. Careful to spread it around appropriately and then you will trowel it out. Okay, once you have it all dumped out, all you're gonna do is just go ahead and push the concrete around and make it so it is around your quarter inch or 16th inch, half inch, depending on how thick you want your skim coat. Okay, so here we are. It's about halfway done. We've gone about a quarter inch in most places, and some places that are a little lower will have a half an inch or so. Uh, these trowel marks, you don't have to worry about those because they will broom off as long as you give it a broomed finish before it hardens completely. Uh, so here's our final load coming in. Let's see. Again, the consistency, you can see it kind of slop around there. And then, uh, we just kind of shovel it around and then use the trowels to smooth it out. And that's pretty much it. Okay, once you're finished putting all the concrete down, or the mortar mix, the skim coat, whatever you like to call it, uh, you'll be finished troweling it all. As you can see, there are all the trowel marks. 
So typically what you would do after this stage would be to float it. Um, if you have a big bowl float, then it's really easy. You just hook it onto a long pole and you could do the whole thing in about 10 minutes. However, if you have a hand float, you'll want to have some uh, pieces of plywood and you could cut them to be about three by three and then uh, put a cupboard handle on them or something like that so you can pick them back up and you'll just start way out there in the corner, put the plywood down and put your knees on it and you can float and then you'll work your way backwards and cover up your tracks as you go. Uh, if you don't want to float, uh, you could just broom this off and uh, leave all the marks in there and the broom would cover them up. However, a float finish looks a lot better and I recommend doing so. Otherwise, uh, when you're done with that, you'll broom it off. Okay, so we're to the brooming point. To broom the finish, you can simply use a regular push broom and just pick up an extended handle typically used for painting. You'll wanna have someone at the other end to catch that broom typically so you don't put too much of a hole in there. Uh, and then you'll just let the weight of the broom do the work and simply walk backwards because if you pull hand over hand you will get an uneven finish and it won't look as good then when it gets to the end here have somebody else pick up the end of the broom instead of doing it yourself that way it is even and picked up nicely without dragging in the mud you'll see here there are a few little um, nicks and divots left over from the brooming finish but that is fine because when they harden up, they will sweep right away and, and be all cleaned off. And this is what your concrete will look like. After that, you will let it dry. Uh, it takes two weeks for concrete to fully cure. So you'll let it dry for a couple days and then keep it moist, keep it wet. Because concrete only cures when it is wet. And uh, you'll want to keep it moist for two weeks and then potentially another couple weeks after that just to engage in the hardening process. And that is how to skim coat your concrete patio and give it a nice broomed finish all by yourself, completely done at home.